Tesla Model S is a big move towards the mainstream for this all-electric car company. We borrowed one to take a first drive. The aluminum body styling is sleek, reminiscent of other four-door coupes like the Audi A7. The hood is low and the car is very aerodynamic. While the Model S looks fairly conventional on the outside, it's a whole different story underneath. On the bottom of the car is a huge battery pack. Since there's no engine, there's a big trunk up front. Packaging the battery down low also frees up cabin space. There's a flat floor, tons of storage, and a big hatchback that can fit a rear-facing third row seat. Inside, you're immediately struck by the giant 17-inch touchscreen that dominates the center dashboard. The graphics here are fantastic, and the touchscreen response is instant. There are no knobs or buttons at all. Everything is through the screen, even door locks and headlights, and you can even surf the web while you drive. Tesla might have gone a bit too far. Same goes for features like the cool-looking but fussy retracting outside door handles. There's no question that Tesla is trying to dismiss the image of electric cars as being frumpy little transport pods. And if cool features don't do that, the performance here will. We're driving the fastest version of the Model S, the signature performance. It can go from zero to 60 in about four and a half seconds. That can put serious hurt on a Corvette. There is something awesome about driving an electric powered big sedan that is that fast. And it's how it delivers the power. It's just this instant surge of torque. It is fantastic and it's addictive. The ground hugging battery design keeps the weight down low. Combine that with good steering and this handles better than you'd expect for a 4,600 pound sedan. So there's no question the performance is stunning, but there's some big stumbling blocks to electric car acceptance. Probably the biggest one is range. You can get three different batteries in your Model S. The basic battery is a 40 kilowatt hour battery, which is good for about 160 miles of range. The top battery option is an 85 kilowatt hour battery. Tesla claims that's good for 300 miles of range. However, that's not 300 miles of blasting down the highway. The other drawback of electric cars is charging time. After all, the Model S has a big battery to charge. But Tesla includes a 10 kilowatt charger as standard. That's more capable than other electrics. You can also get the car with a 20 kilowatt twin charger and a high power wall connector. That setup cuts charge time to about five hours. So we were really impressed with our time with the Model S. We look forward to having more experience with it when we buy a Model S of our own to test here at the Consumer Reports test track.